Hi. In this video, I'll teach you how to model a series of points with the C-sharp script. So in the last video, we've learned about the, the point 3D struct, which helps creating or constructing a point 3D object. And we've learned about its properties and methods and how to use them within the C-sharp script. Now, what if I need to build a series of points? You can go the hard way and try just trying to, uh, writing the point 3D point A equals new point 3D 0, 0, 0 and in the outputs you can just write a equals point a and you can start hard coding this so point 3d point b equals a new point 3d and so on and so forth and this is really really a hard way especially if you want to let's say create a series a, a, a long series of points or a grid of points or maybe a 3D object of points. So what can I do in order to do that? In order to create the series in an easy way, you'll need to have a background about classes and how to create a class in C sharp and how to use the recursions or the for loops in the C sharp language. So assuming that you have a background about these topics, let's say I want to create a series of points that increases by a 45 degree line. Okay, so I want to build, ten, let's say 10 points. The first point's coordinates is zero, zero. The other one is 1, 1, and then 2, 2, and then 3, 3, and 3, 4, and so on, uh, and 4, 4, and so on. The first thing I need to do is to create a list. And in order to create a list using C sharp, all you have to do is write list, and then between the two arrows, you have to write the type or the data type, which is a point 3D. Let's give it a name, let that be points and then say it's equal to list of point 3D and with those two empty brackets we have initiated an empty list that will be adding points to later on and now we need to use the for loop with an index that changes and this index will be used in the x y and z coordinates of the points of the series of points that i need so in order to do that all i have to do is start a for loop and the index will be an integer called i i will be less than 10 in order to create uh, 10 points and here let's say int i equals 0 so we'll start from 0 to 9 and this will give me 10 objects right and let's say i plus plus which means the iteration will happen with only one unit increment so it will go 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 9 I'm sorry 9 because we said i is less than 10 so if I want them to be 11 points I will say less than or equal to 10 and if I still want them to be um, let's say 10 points but I want to start them with an index equals 1 so my first point will be located at the 1 x coordinate and one y coordinate let's try with the zero at first let's say i is less than 10 and in the for loop the first thing we'll do is 
we'll just create our points. So we'll say point 3D point A equals a new point 3D and the X, Y and Z will be the index. So let's say that it starts the X is I, the Y is I and the Z is zero. In this case, we'll create a point starting at the first iteration, which is zero. So it will create a point at zero, zero, zero. And in the second iteration, which where I equals one, it will be one, one, zero, and then two, two, zero, and so on. And we'll need to add this point to the list. So all we're going to do is write points dot add the name of the list dot add and write our object's name let's not name it point let's just name it point there's no need to call it point a there's no need to call the object anything actually and here we'll say that a equals points which is our list and if we run the script we'll find here exactly 10 points starting at 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, and so on. If I want to start it with 1 and still have my 10 points, in this case, the first point will start at 1, 1, the second at 2, 2, and the, th the, the last one will be at 11, 11. Okay? Uh, I'm sorry, 10, 10, exactly. So what if I want to create a grid of points not only uh, some points that are forming a line to me but before that let's try to change this line so if I want to make it a line that is parallel to the y-axis then I'll be changing the uh, I'm sorry parallel to the x-axis I'll be changing the x value or x coordinates value and keep the y with zero uh, with zero and if i do this i will find a horizontal line where the x changes but the y is the uh, is zero and i can make a vertical line and in this case i'll make the y is the changing factor so it will give me a vertical line and if I want to move this so uh, I can just make it at 2 and I if I want to to move the line I can make it at 5 and I or negative actually 5 and I I can do whatever I want and so now let's start thinking if I want to create a list of points but it will it will form a grid in order to, to, to do so I need another index in order to change or, or in order to give me a series of points on the X and Y coordinates forming this grid so how can we do this all we have to do is to create a nested for loop. So in this case, we'll say for int j equals 0, j is less than 10, and j plus plus. And here we'll need to rewrite this to update this in order to close the two for loops so what is going to happen here I might relate the I index with the X and the J index with the Y and this will give me a clear square so what happens in this for loop what happens is at first we'll start with an index 0 okay and the index 0 which resembles the x coordinate of the point inside it will have another 10 for loops another 10 iterations for another for loop so when the i equals 0 
we'll start with a point where the j equals zero also and then we will have the i as zero still but the j will increase and be one and then zero two zero three zero four zero five until zero nine and then this for loop will reiterate so it will start with an index equals one and in this case it will start with one zero zero one 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 two one three one four until one nine and then two and and so on and so forth i think the logic is clear and really easy and if we run this script now it will give me exactly a hundred points so these are 10 points on the y-axis and 10 points on the x-axis and this gives me a hundred points if you look from the perspective it's on the xy plane in order to create another level of these points so if i want to create this uh, the, the same of this grid but let's repeat it to the z-axis we all we have to do is to create another nested for loop so we say for int k equals zero k is less than 10 and k plus plus in this case what happens is we need to change the z x uh, the z coordinate to be k so even the z coordinate will be changing inside these iterations so we'll have a different value of i j k every time if we just run this we'll have a thousand of points okay so to think of the logic just think that we start we're starting with this loop with this for loop with an i equals zero and inside the i equals zero we'll start changing the j's and in each index of the j in each iteration of the j we'll be changing the k 10 times so this makes a lot of mathematics and it's it, it could be annoying at first but once you think of this logic you'll really get it easily and you can figure it out especially if you have a background as I said about the for loops and the lists and how to code in C sharp so if I want to change these I could add more points on the z-axis so if I make this 20 then We'll create a 19 row of points if I change this to 20 it will increase in the J and of course if I change this to 40 let's say it will increase on the x-axis and so on and so forth I hope this video was entertaining to you I hope you really got useful information and if you have any questions please uh, write them down in the comments and if you like the contents of these videos and this playlist we'll be glad if you follow or subscribe to our youtube channel and recommend us to more users thank you and see you in the next video